She's a force. She is so contemporary. She's so cool. She's the musical prodigy that you wish that you were. She has a way with words that you just want to be able to copy and emulate. There's power in this song. Joy Harjo, to me, is the epitome of the strong female subconscious that, as a Native woman, you want to have as part of your being. Joy is an elder, an artist, a loved one. She's a writer. And we are both Muscogee poets from Oklahoma. We are not related, but she's always um, made me feel very seen. She was the very first Native American to be named as a Port Laureate. And in that role, she's also been one of the longest serving Port Laureates. Joy had gone into being the Poet Laureate right as we were going into a pandemic. And then shortly after that, the anthology came out. When the light of the world was subdued, our songs came through. It was perfect, and it was what we needed right at that time. Native American poetry is the first voice of America. As Port Laureate, Joy developed a collection for the Library of Congress called Living Nations, Living Words, a digital collection which maps contemporary Native American poets across the United States and provides links to their readings and stories. The Norton Anthology that she recently curated is so fantastic and such a wonderful opportunity to show all of these poets from all of these different tribes, and I love that. The key thing that Joy did is that she elevated the voices of others. It was just not about her. She saw the need to elevate the value of others' art along the way. And to me, that is an exceptional example of leadership, not only as an artist, but also as an advocate. My dad actually showed her one of my poems. And from there, we kind of fell into like a mentorship relationship, which has been incredible and amazing and very inspiring. And showed me that like my experiences and my voice is important and I have something to say. And that's what makes my poetics different and unique. And people will want to listen to that. She doesn't just pave the way for artists and poets, musicians. She paved the way for me in particular, and I found out that she had been on the National Council for the Arts in the late 90s into the early 2000s. And I just thought, you know what, if Joy can do it, <laughs> I can do it. It's a lifetime achievement, and she truly has done that. I think she's achieved enough for many, many lifetimes. Joy's a healer. The work that she does and the way she uses words, the way that she brings us together is medicine. And she tells us very often what it means to be good human beings living in the world. It can be poems, it can be songs, it can be her playing the flute. And she's giving us her medicine every time she's with us. 